Today, we're taking out my bass boat, and we're gonna be squirrel hunting while we're out there fishing. If you guys fish a lot, you know that you've never seen more squirrels except when you're fishing. When you're hunting for deer, that's close second, but I honestly think I see more squirrels at the lake. So, <clears throat> since the lake is government property, I can legally shoot squirrels off my boat. And so, you know me, I'm ready to go, son. I'm more excited to go hunting than I am fishing. The shotgun of choice is this one right here. It's not a super expensive shotgun. I actually bought it at Walmart in this video right here for I believe under $200. It's a 20 gauge, has a modified choke in it. It's a Stevens. Honestly, probably the best shotgun I could have in this situation. Cause if it gets a little rusty, I don't really care. As long as it shoots, I'm happy. Let's head on out there. We're fishing and we're hunting. Hopefully we get both, but you know what? I, I can't guarantee that. All right, guys, we are out on the lake now. The boat is running. That is our first major hurdle, and we are now over it. This is the first time this boat has been running in about a year and a half, so let's just say this. We're happy that it works. Okay, we're just happy it works. Uh, the next step is to go pick up Dad, but we're doing that in a minute. But the next step after that is to find the correct trees. If you've been watching a lot of my squirrel hunt videos lately, you know that what kind of trees you are hunting is super important. The trees we're looking for are going to be hickory trees, beech trees, and oak trees. And maybe a walnut tree, but I don't really know much about those. And besides that, I'll see you guys whenever we start fishing or find some squirrels. We just got to our first location. I ain't seen no squirrels, but I did see a deer instantly. That means I'm an expert deer hunter. Two. Oh, okay, two deer. Yeah, one's little. It's, it's, yeah, now it's moving. Yeah, two deer, probably a doe. It's not deer season. Also, don't have a bow, but I could kill one with something else. But our objective is to fish along the bank and shoot a squirrel if we see it. We found some oak trees. That's actually really good. It's an oak. If they're eating oaks, which they are at home, but I don't know about the lake. That's a good sign. That's a good sign because that's also an oak. I don't know how really good that second uh, trolling motor battery is. It acts like it's pretty weak, but I'd say it should do. Oh, all there's a fish do. right there. That's exactly what we're after. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, get the cameras on. Hope you know that. All right, first things first, we gotta get out the trolling motor, boys. All right, let's see if it works. It works, but it's not got a lot of energy. Right, anyways, now let's pull out our tools. Y'all have already seen the shotgun, but I'll show it to you again, because I gotta go ahead and get it loaded. Thinking about making this shotgun right here, the all-time boat gun, because you know what? If I see a groundhog, I don't really care what day it is, I'm probably gonna try to kill it. I wanna eat a groundhog, and they're in season year-round. KG fanny pack, bring, it don't matter where I am. Pretty much always have it with me if I'm hunting. I'll just crack it open, pull me out three shells right here, and we'll load up the gun right here. And as for this, we're just gonna set it right over there as if it's a fishing pole. But between me and you, we know it's not. As for actually fishing, we're still gonna try to catch some fish too. I think I'll start off with this one. Got a little crawdaddy on it. That should be good for catching small bass or bluegill, which is what we're really after. And then if for some reason that doesn't work, we do have some live bait and it's this bread. So dad, you gotta, if I'm up here, you can't video my feet. My feet don't do much. If you see a squirrel, let me know. Or if you hear something move, let me know. It's probably a good sign. <laughs> How long do you think this is going to take? Three, three minutes. Hmm, long time. What huh? do you bring all mom's bread for? Well, I'm going fishing. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we got a problem right now. My bait's too big for the bluegill. Maybe that's a sign the bluegill are just a little bit too small. And it's also not diving too deep. Or I could just use bread and hope that they eat it, which is what I'm going to set up my other fishing pole to do right now. This one right here. I'm gonna rig this one up with just a bare hook so that I can put a piece of bread on it and flip it down, just let it sink, and then something's eventually gonna eat it. But I'll get back to you guys because it's pretty boring and it's probably gonna take a while. So I'll see you in about two minutes. There's a squirrel though, so we're gonna go kill him. You hear that? The fish just don't care about the bread. Maybe mom got the wrong bread. All right, we're about to get a squirrel. 100% guaranteed chance. There he goes. Oh, dang it. Sign. Come on, little son. Show yourself. There's like three right there. Two's cutting and one's squacking. And I can't see him. All right, there he is. All right, well, that's one of them down, but I think they're still cutting. I don't think they really care that he died.
here I go. Here we go, baby. Let's stink and go. You do gotta be quiet because there could be more. He was right here in that pine tree. Yeah, I'll walk on up here and my squirrel should be right here somewhere. Oh, he ain't dead yet. He ain't dead yet. All right, he's dead now. Oh, his head is gone. Anyways, long story short, I got one more shell and I hear a squirrel right up there. I'm gonna lay low for a second, be quiet. And he should start back cutting because these squirrels, have no idea what's going on. They've only ever seen a fisherman and none of them's ever tried to attack them. So they do not care that we're here at all. There he is. Now, there's another squirrel right there and I could kill him just as easy as one, two, three but i spent all three shells up on the bank that's why next time i come up on the bank to retrieve a squirrel and bring him a fanny pack i don't know how much you guys squirrel hunt but this right here is some good squirrel hunting places because it's super open on the bottom you're not having to walk through thickets there's not 500 spider webs everywhere that's a pretty good squirrel right there it's a pretty good big one i've already got more meat than i would have if i'd fished for eight hours Huh. Well, hmm. he's still in that tree. They're still up in there. Yeah, that one got away. That's okay. Kinda. All right, solo update. We did just find this. A giant hornet's nest. Should we shoot it? No. Okay. Why? Turn all the hornets loose on us. Okay. boys we got him we good was it recording i had to look through this i don't know about the viewfinder over here it's fine i didn't have time to turn it around well, I just he's looked. at the bottom of that tree so i'm gonna try to catch a fish real quick because i had a few bites <coughs> and uh yeah he wasn't even eating on anything looks like that he was on an oak so i don't even know if he they was eating acorns or not but uh yeah he's dead <coughs> I'm gonna go on in there and get him. Okay. I'm gonna take the gun though, just in case there's more squirrels. Okay. Let me go ahead and reload though. He should be right there. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. It's kind of a hard place to get to, honestly. But I mean, it's too late now. I gotta get there. This is some bobcat territory right here. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, now we're in it. Okay, here we are. There's a squirrel. Dead or hammer. And he is. He's not alone. I just gotta see him. He's right there somewhere. It's just about too easy, dude. I know I've only killed four and my limit's six, but guys, I've seen 15 squirrels out here. I've just not wanted to get off the boat and go chase them. They're all over the place, dude. Nobody hunts them out here. It's just too far to walk unless you have a boat. And when people bring a boat, they're usually gonna go fishing. I'm gonna hunt my way on down. Then I may go ahead and start skinning them here. I don't know. Or I may just skin them at the house. I'm not sure. Every time I go up there, I kill two squirrels. It's pretty good. I just keep going in the bank. I'm going to pull over here to the bank somewhere where it's flat. And I'm going to go ahead and skin them right now. All right, guys. Well, apparently it's getting too dark. So I'm just going to put them in the bag. I'll skin them up later. And then we're going to cook them some really cool way. I don't know how yet, but uh, yeah. There we go. There's ice in there. What's this? That's mad. Oh, well, yeah, long story short, uh, I will see you guys probably. Hey, follow me. You got to. Bye. Welcome to my cooking show. In today's cooking show, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook squirrels in a way, in a, in a traditional manner. Cherokee style. Uh, I've actually never done this method before. So, <laughs> grab your popcorn, because the squirrel probably won't be edible after. I got a bunch of squirrels in here, and it kind of makes me feel like a mad scientist, but honestly, hey, I vibe with it. Now, I'm gonna dry them off, best I can, just so that he don't drip everywhere. We're gonna pull us off right here, big, big piece of tin foil, okay? Put him 
boom, just like that. We'll grab some of this poultry seasoning and we will poultry this thing up. You know what I mean? This might be terrible. I may be making a terrible decision right here, but then after we're done with that, we'll come on and get some of this oil, unknown. Just do one of them numbers right there with it. Can't forget about the salt. There you go, that's good. And then guys, it's uh, this is where the experiment starts, okay? We're just gonna kinda wrap him up like this and act almost as if he is a potato. And then we'll stick him in the oven for about .30. No pan or not. See y'all in about .30. Okay guys, the time has come. I'm bringing her out of the oven. Oh no, that was almost bad. I'm going to open her up right here and I'm going to see what it looks like because if it's not done at all, you know, I'm going to put it back in. Is tin foil hot? No, it's not. Okay, well that's nice. Oh son. Oh son. I'm going to put her back in there for about five more minutes. Tighten this out. The pan's hot. Did we just unlock a new way to cook squirrel? What? I don't really want to eat this, but I have to. I'm pulling out some of his back strap right here. It's extremely tender. And it didn't take nearly as long to get tender as it does whenever you're boiling them. Oh wow, that's pretty good. All right, I'll take that back. It's not good. But it's tender. I just, I don't think poultry seasoning was the move. It's not bad.